So I wanted to tell you guys about something that just happened to me. So I just got done praying, meditating, and I was lighting my candle because I'm getting ready to get in the shower and I love candles lit in my house. Everybody knows I'm a big candle person. So this candle has two wicks on it and <laughs> it took me six matches to get two wicks lit. <laughs> um, the first two, I couldn't get them to like catch fire to save my life. Like, the first two matches I lit, I couldn't get the wick to um, catch fire. And I ended up burning myself a little bit. And I almost was like, screw this. I ain't doing it. I'm I'm over it. But something kept telling me to keep going. So, I figured out that the one wick, it needed to be adjusted. So, it needed, from leaning, it needed to be standing up. Just, just enough for it to catch fire. So, when I struck the match, I lit that the first time. I even put the little flame to it. It was a little flame, but then it grew big. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. So let me try to catch the second one. <laughs> big dummy burnt herself again. So that's why it's a little bit more red. Um, <laughs> and then uh, it took me like two more matches to realize, girl, <laughs> maybe you just need to take the whole burnt area off. And mind you, if, when I turned the, when I, um, took the burnt piece off like the burnt piece was like the tip of this i mean like this whole thing right i took literally this whole little silver part off so it was a itty bitty literally a itty bitty like the size of my little nail to um that's all i had left of the wig and i was like oh my god how is this gonna work but something said strike that match that last match and just go for it. So I did. It took me three times <laughs> to get that one match lit. And when I lit it, it snapped in the L shape. And I I still, like, instead of blowing it out like I normally would when stuff like that breaks, I literally just went in and just quickly just <laughs> in and out. And lo and behold, the last wick lit. So I guess... Because when I was praying, I was like, God, use me, you know, in your way. What he was saying is, you can try. As long as you keep trying, I will be there. And we can light that match. Like, we can get that match lit. And we can light your wick. And the same way that you might have done this, is not going to be the same for this way. And sometimes you have to stand up. In order to catch that light. Sometimes you have to get up from all that hurt. And adjust yourself. And stop being so comfortable. And, and all that misery. And all this nastiness. And say you know what. No I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to do something different. And then the second one is. A representation of all the hurt. And the anger. And emotion that I've been feeling. For the last you know couple of years. And it was just like. Once you let that go and take that burnt stuff and just throw it away because it's useless. It happened. It already happened in your past. Right now is right now. And all you need is that itty bitty bit of faith and I can make you a big flame. That flame was huge. It was like, and I was like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so I just said this to, to tell you guys, I hope it makes sense, but to tell you guys that don't stop trying. If you really believe in something and you really want it so bad, keep going. It doesn't matter how many matches it takes to light your flame. As long as it get lit and you keep God first, you'll be all right. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this inspires somebody. Love you guys and...